mission statement at the Dayton Regional STEM School is to prepare students with the skills necessary so that they can compete and contribute in the global economy. Uh, it's interesting being a humanities teacher teaching at a STEM school. We do focus on the science, technology, engineering, and mathematics, but the world's full of problems that can be engineered away, and so the humanities steps in and prepares students to to interact with people who come from all different backgrounds, different cultures, different belief systems, and we really try to foster that ability for students to be able to communicate with each other in a way that it's going to get across their idea but yet be respectful of, of other people's ideas as well. I think really a huge variety of students could be successful at STEM, but really what's important is um, a motivation to learn. Students come here because they want to uh, push themselves beyond the typical curriculum. Uh, they want to push themselves in the fact that they and their parents want a different kind of education. They want to turn in quality work um, and are open to feedback and to you know, go through the draft process and try and try again until they um, create something that they're proud of and that they know is of high quality. Students are really invested in what we're doing. Um, that's really the best part for me is seeing them really engage in the project and get excited about it. Well, the projects that we do, we're focusing upon what's going on in the world right now. It's more than just daily work, that there is something that is going to be ongoing. You may have a project that starts at the beginning of this, the quarter or the beginning of the semester, and it's going to continually keep building upon itself as you go. It's not something that is just a once and done, hey, we did this, and now we're never going to come back to it at all. We still uh, have a keep some traditional teaching, but uh, we incorporate the very um, the best teaching method. It's called project-based learning, and using project-based learning, students learn the collaboration, they learn the inquiry, and then they become so creative. Yeah, and uh, sure, the, they become persistent when they want to find things out and very a uh, safe place for students to learn. And we have a culture and the students always help each other. How to work together and to overcome adversity and all of those things are built within each classroom. And even though the teachers are all different and unique in how even what their teaching styles are and even what they're teaching, they work hard to make sure that the students know how to work together. We teach those things just like we teach advocacy, just like you teach any other subject. The purpose and the culture of, of our learning environment at DRSS requires that kind of scaffolding and support. So you might not understand what it means to collaborate, but the teacher and the curriculum is set up to structure so we can get you to a point where collaborating with others is something that you do on a daily basis. So learning collaboratively between different instructors and different courses I think requires a tremendous amount of persistence. Uh, you cannot live just for one course and when you walk out of that room you have to start thinking about another course because things are so intertwined at times so that they, they tend to follow you around from throughout your day so that you can look at them from all different aspects but you're still looking at the same problem. I feel like I'm working with, you know, with, with professional students where I am like, hey, this is our task. Let's all jump on board and I want you to help me figure out what's the best thing for you and then we go with it. And that's, that's to me, that's just completely different from, from the status quo of, you know, here's the curriculum, you teach the curriculum, the students take the test, and that's it. When I finish college, I would like to be an architect. When I grow up, I want to be a herpetologist. I would like to be a pediatrician in the medical field. I want to be an inventor. When I grow up, I would like to be a broadcast journalist. I want to be an engineer. I don't want them to see me as the expert who's going to disseminate all this knowledge. I often tell my students, like, don't just believe me because I said so. I want you to demand evidence. And we bring in people from universities or from companies or from outside to come in and give us feedback, experts or people to be consultants with us, so that it's like the walls of the school aren't just this building. They, they have a reach beyond.